So here's a tasty little bit of kit, and it's a little bit of kit that I bought maybe a month ago. Um, I didn't pay 229 for it though. I paid about 160 including post. Uh, it's a lovely little machine. Four and a half inches by four inches by 1.6 inches. And it's the Trig Key Green G4 Mini PC with a 12th gen Intel Alder Lake N95, four cores, four threads, processing up to 3.4 gigahertz with 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM with a 500 gig NVMe SSD and it supports two HDMI 4K outputs. It's got Wi-Fi 5, Bluetooth 4.2 and 1000 meg LAN. Pretty nice bit of kit. It came with Windows 11 Professional which was very nice and it ran it really well. It's a pretty competent little machine. In fact, that's what I'm recording this video on now, but um, I'm not running Windows 11 on it now. Here's your ports. You've got a CMOS clearing button on the left, which you poke with a pin or whatever. Two USB 3.2 second generation USBs on the front. A headphone socket, power indicator, power button on the back. Two more USB 3.2 second generation USBs on the back. A LAN socket, the dual HDMI output and the power adapter socket. It's a nice bit of kit. Yeah, but like I say, it's gone up. It's gone up in about a month. I paid 160 for mine and it's now 230. So... It's gone up a lot, but I happen to think it's worth it. I'm not advertising it though. I'm just saying what it is, where you can get it, and how much it costs, all right? Yeah, so I've wiped the Windows 11 and I've put MX Linux on it instead. And it runs bloody lovely. Now I've loved MX Linux for an awful long, 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 long time right from when it was listed under DistroWatch as a secondary build of Antix Linux. But I always saw it as a natural successor to simply Mepis, but with the XFCE desktop. This here wallpaper in the background here with a sheep with a on the battlefield with a with a flak helmet on. I used on MX15 I did a video on my original channel showing me pimping it, basically reconfiguring the XFCE more to my taste. Don't need to do that now. It's all there out the box on the operating system. Under your MX tools, MX tweak, press my button now. You can do it all. It's grand. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd have that for old time's sake. See if it was still up there on the internet. And indeed it is. And it's, run, it's running this machine really, really nicely. Uh, let's get the terminal up. Show you a little bit about the system. So here you go. I'm using the AHS build of um, MX because this machine is literally, it's, and I think they're BIOS is from September. It's a really recent machine, really recent BIOS, as you see. 16 gigs of RAM, maximum 3.4 gigahertz uh, CPU, but its base processing speed is about 1.7. Now, if we get the quick system information, right, this tells us a little bit more about the hardware we've got. Okay, yeah, yeah. The UEFI BIOS is American Megatrends, um, ADLNV104 
from either the 9th of the 2nd or the 2nd of the 9th. It depends whether that's the US dating or the UK dating. But either way, at the oldest, it's February of this year. So it's a very recent machine. So therefore, the AHS build of MX was the one to go with. Like I say, I've got a real fondness for um, MX Linux. Always have done right from its very beginnings. I mean, I first discovered it when I was waiting around and waiting around for simply Mepis 11 to come out of beta, which it never really did. Um, the Simply Mepis team basically kind of dissolved or shelved Simply Mepis and started working with the Antics guy and started working on MX Linux. And I've been following it and using it on and off ever since. I've been interacting with the people on the forums and I've been doing little bits of work for them. I've provided wallpapers. Um, if you downloaded and installed the alphas and the betas of this build, uh, 23 MX23, uh, you will have seen my wallpapers on the alpha and the betas with the cross palm trees and the pyramids in the background making the MX symbol. And if you've installed it or even just run the live session, the image on the grub boot screen is a wallpaper that I submitted to the distribution years ago. How many years ago? Well, this many years ago. So here is the original GIMP XCF drawing. If we go down to properties. Okay, 6th of September, 2017. So that's over six years ago. And this is the image that they use for the grub screen. There it is, there's the original. Do you want to see it at a full size? because it's obviously massively reduced for the grub screen. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the original uh, with the MX Linux uh, text on there, which is still there as a separate layer. So yeah, I've had my finger in this particular pie for quite a long time and I've loved it and it's always been really, really good. I did start to worry um, a couple of versions back when it seemed as though MX was fragmenting a little when they started to work on the Fluxbox edition and, and then they started to make the Plasma edition. I was a little bit keener on the Plasma edition because it was this much closer to becoming simply Mepis once again. But now it's just there with options. It's an option. You've got a choice of different installers. Ad advanced hardware for the newer machines, the normal one, based uh, Debian basically, for the older machines or less recent machines. Plasma for people who prefer Plasma to XFCE. Plasma is only available, I believe, in the AHS versions. And you also get the uh, Fluxbox build, even lighter. But I prefer to stick with the XFCE one. And because it's a newer machine, the AHS build. So yeah, I did a load of other wallpapers for MX that didn't actually get selected. I don't believe, but maybe they did. When did I do this one? It's probably the same sort of time, 2017 again. Yeah, that's another one of mine. I thought it's a nice juxtaposition, MX offering freedom rather than crowded out chaos. Plain blue, plain teal. Yeah, and there's my grub backgrounds again. Okay, so yeah, this is the little tiny Trig Key mini PC. Worth every penny, even if you buy it at today's prices, I think. And no, this isn't an advert, this is just me saying, wow, 
a cheap bit of tech that runs really quick. I can't fault it. Okay, this is me signing off from the Trig Key G4 Green Mini PC and MX 23.1 AHS. Ta-ra!